Welcome back. Honor Flight of Southern Indiana is gearing up for their trip to our nation's capital later this fall. And now you can be a part of making their journey as special as possible. And joining us this morning, a dear friend, Sue Bengert, Honor Flight bus captain and former hometown hero. Thank Thanks, Sue, for coming in today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. We have a lot to cover. Mm -hmm. So for starters, for folks out home, you have been there since the very beginning, EVV1. Yes. What has it been like over the last, you yes. know, I mean, this is the 10 years. Yes. What has it been like to kind of see the transition of all these veterans? Uh, now we're at EVV17. 17. 17, yes. This is our 10 year anniversary or celebration of having an honor flight hub in Evansville. Mm -hmm. We've taken 1,221 wow. veterans <laughs> to Washington, D.C. gives me goosebumps. To see their memorials. Uh, and during that time. I got started with the first one because my dad was a World War II veteran and he asked me to go with him on this honor flight. And I said, well, what are we doing? Where are we going? <laughs> and when you are around these veterans, it means so much to them that I, thought, I gotta be involved with this. I gotta do more. So that's how I became involved so with you're, honor flight. You're able to replicate that over the years with other veterans and their families and their experience there as the well. Emotions. Yeah. Yes. And if you're doing you're doing the math at home, you're thinking, okay, wait, but ten years they've done seven. No, you guys cram two of these in a year, usually in the we spring do. and the fall. Yes, we go two times a year, once in the spring and once in the fall. And before we get into this, um, this fall, uh, October fifth, correct? That yes. is this honor flight. How many veterans and guardians do you have going? Yeah, we have eighty seven veterans and we'll have eighty seven guardians going wow. so a lot to plan for yes. and the thing that we have you on here today is because the community can get involved even if they're not going on the actual honor flight so let's start with mail call mm -hmm. tell us what mail call is and a little bit about the deadline sure. that's quickly approaching sure yeah mail call is something these veterans really like um, we try to simulate their experience when they were in the military service so on the flight back from Washington DC we will do a mail call so they'll get a small packet of cards and letters and pictures thanking them for the service. This is where the community can come in and help. You know, everybody can't participate fully, but this is something everybody can do. So we want to reach out to teachers, uh, youth groups, anybody who would like to participate, writing thank you cards, thank you letters, mm -hmm. just even having little ones drawing pictures. This mail call means a lot to them. Then when we land, we like to give them another packet of mail call. We hope to have 100 pieces of mail call for every single veteran. Wow. And I can speak from my father and other veterans I've been with. They will go through these envelopes of mail call time after time. It means wow. so much to them. And I know we have a full screen of kind of like what a letter should look like, but yes. there's also, you said the deadline of September 5th through the 20th, and then I believe yes. pick up. Tell us a little bit about the drop-off sites too. Sure. Yeah, the mail call will run from September 9th to September 20th, and we have a lot of locations mm -hmm. here in Evansville that you can drop it off, such as Mission Barbecue, uh, Golden Corral, the Red Cross, and all of the Evansville Vanderbilt Public Libraries. But there's a flyer on our website and on our Facebook that lists all the locations. And it can be just off. even like a coloring picture, yes. you know, from the kids. You know, the veterans really like what the little ones can do. Even if it's just, a, uh, they're learning how to color, but yeah. they still like to see those pictures. Absolutely. Now, these flights take a couple hours to get to Washington, D.C. from Evansville. So uh, yes. during those flights, and you've been on, you know, uh, more than a dozen of these flights over the years. So. Uh, what are the conversations like? I know they're uh, escorted by uh, folks that support these uh, veterans yes. as they you know, kind of go and peruse all these uh, wonderful monuments and uh, tributes in Washington, D.C. But what are the conversations like between veterans on the flight if you have the you know, opportunity to kind of eavesdrop on some oh, of those? We do, we do, <laughs> because that is really exciting and it's emotional to listen to them. And some of them rediscover each other, maybe from even high school or even from basic training that they lost contact with. Uh, but now they find each other again. Yes, listening to their stories. Um, and they will open up maybe more, so, more yeah. to brothers and comrades mm -hmm. than they will to family members at first. But I've heard from a lot of families how my dad never used to talk about his military service. But now, after the honor flight, he will mention it wow. and he'll bring up more details and about what it was like. a lot of those veterans, like. 
from those early conflicts uh, have a lot of bottled up emotions uh, yes. and memories and they didn't yes. have the um, apparatus or the support system we have yep. now in our country to kind of treat like PTSD. Those things weren't even diagnosed at that point. No. They just drop them right back off no. the duffel bag no, in the no. States and here they are. Right. They have to kind of coexist with the rest of us and melt into society. Also, you're getting a growing number of, we've seen the Korean War veterans uh, show up, but is there an appreciation by a lot of the Vietnam veterans uh, mm -hmm. that were not at all welcomed home mm -hmm. uh, after that conflict and our, um, our, I guess our uh, participation yeah. in that uh, conflict. Unfortunately, we don't have any World War II veterans on this fall flight. So we're seeing things shift into the yes. Korean War I mean, conflict in the Vietnam still era. still out there, but they're not wanting to go on their honor flight. We're still working on that. So there are some Korean veterans on this flight, but the majority are the Vietnam veterans. Gotcha. And yes, they, um, you know, it was bad when they came home. So now we're offering them an opportunity and offering opportunity for the community to change that, to change those previous mm -hmm. experiences so that they can feel welcome, feel appreciated, and show gratitude for them. So we had mail call, one mm -hmm. way that folks can support yes. these veterans. Support wish list. Tell us about yeah. that. We have a wish list, and that'll run just about one week from September 9th to September 13th. All the items on there are for the veterans, not for anybody else, because we want to give them a wonderful day to remember and to treasure so everything on their goals for them we want to feed them all day long yeah we and we have a list you know just some bags of chips individually wrapped yes. you know sunscreen travel size mm -hmm. or candy stuff like that candy bars and before we wrap up tell us about the parade escort sign ups yes well we want the community to come out for saturday evening for the welcome home parade and that'll start about 8 15. so come out in your patriotic clothes uh, and make signs, make posters, dress up, but also each veteran can have a parade escort walk with them during the Welcome Home Parade, and that's for the youth from sixth grade up to senior in high school. So go to our website and sign up to be a parade escort. That gets our youth involved in appreciating our veterans. And what is that website? Uh, honorflightsi.org. Gotcha. If there is a veteran out there maybe watching this program right now and doesn't think that, uh, you know, maybe they've not been approached by anyone, mm -hmm. how do you uh, get involved? Can you, can you submit, you know, I guess the, the request to, to go on the next right. trip, perhaps next yeah, spring. Well, lots of ways. Uh, some people don't want to open up. So I guess in the most compassionate uh, manner possible, you've experienced these veterans. Uh, how would you persuade them if you were to speak directly to a veteran right now that would like to see these monuments okay, and tributes? Sometimes we have to do that. A lot of them will tell me that, oh, yes, we've been to Washington, D.C. on uh, business trips or on vacations, but you haven't gone with 86 mm -hmm. other veterans. That is really an emotional experience to go with your brothers in service then. So just go to our website, go to our Facebook page, which is Honor Flight Southern Indiana, and you'll see an Apply Now button that you can go ahead and sign up. And we have a number listed on there if you'd rather talk to somebody in person. Gotcha. So call that number and leave a voicemail for us. Thank you, Sue. We'll be back okay. after the break.